Hi, this is Barry Armson of Bitmetric and the ClickFix blog. A few weeks ago, I posted some screenshots of a tool that we've developed internally uh, at my company. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So I decided to make a quick video to show you some of the possibilities. I realized the audio is probably pretty poor, uh, but I just wanted to get something uh, out there so you can have a look. Uh, I hope to make a better video later, but uh, for now, hopefully you can still follow what's going on. So the tool is called uh, TurboClick and uh, something we've uh, started developing a few years ago and gradually extended with all sorts of things that uh, automate common developer tasks on the front end. One of those tasks is uh, creating a layout template. Uh, you want to have a consistent template across all of your uh, applications. And if you change something in the template, you don't want to have to go back uh, and redo all applications manually. So we store our definitions for layout templates and can configure all sorts of things around backgrounds, menus, logos, search objects, etc. You can either apply to an existing file or I can create a new file. Let's just see what happens when I create a new file. So as I click uh, the Create Navigation button, a new ClickView document is created and it's populated with uh, a few random sheets. After it's done that, it will apply the uh, template, the styling and the color scheme. And it should just be about ready. There it is. So you can see that it's applied to the template and now it's loading the uh, color scheme and applying that as well. And now that it's finished, we have a styled new document, uh, which is uh, uh, according to the specifications that we've uh, set for it. So you can see that there's a menu uh, in there and we much prefer this over the tab rows at the top. Using a menu makes it a lot easier to cluster things that belong together and all around make for nicer view on your ClickView document. Also included is a search object, some common buttons for actions. You can have a additional pop-up filter panel to have some less commonly used filters there, current selections box, and all these things can be uh, turned on or off and you can uh, uh, specify where they should be located. So you can also have the menu at the bottom and the selections at the top. Uh, that can all be configured. So let's close this and go to the next thing, which is the color manager. And what you see here is the palette for the uh, template that we just uh, uh, generated. Uh, we can very easily uh, change those colors. So if we are at a new client, we can very quickly put together a consistent color scheme based on their corporate style. And let's just change this one color here to see what it looks like and apply it to the template that we just generated. All right, kind of funky. So let's go back and reset the palette to the original one and reapply that. There it is again. And of course, you can also set all sorts of uh, color schemes. This is my development environment, so I don't really have too many in there yet. The next uh, uh, function is the grid maker. And you may have seen this uh, on my blog a few months ago. So by default, uh, uh, ClickView comes with a layout grid, but it's not configurable. And uh, we like the uh, other grids better. So what it's generating here is a grid that has 12 columns and 12 rows, and you can set the spacing and the margins. And it will create a grid which fits in with the template. And you can very easily use that to lay out objects in a consistent manner. So can create a new text object, move it around a little bit, and let's make it 
four rows high and three columns wide. And you can just very quickly lay out things on the grid that way. Could have copied that. <clears throat> and using such a grid layout makes it very easy to easily have a consistent, consistently laid out dashboard. So let's close the template again, go to the next option. Uh, because we're using a grid, we can we know where each cell on the uh, ClickView document will be. So we can also superimpose uh, some layout templates on that. So for example, uh, let's load another template. And we have here layout positions where we can later put objects. And you can define these uh, uh, templates and create a new one. And these are just the ones I have in my development environment, but hopefully you get the idea. So here at the top, you can put one, two, three objects, and at the bottom, you can put two larger objects. And we can actually map objects to that uh, template from within TurboClick using the object mapper functionality. And to do that, we specify the target. So this is the template we just created. And first need to get the sheet list. We get a list of sheets. And I'll specify which layout I want to use. This is the three on the top, two on the bottom. And now we have here a object library. And from this object library, it contains uh, objects that we've pre-styled. Uh, they uh, have all the color styling and, and such uh, applied already. And we can select a single object and apply it to a position on the grid. Let's put a few. Put a waterfall chart here and maybe a line chart there. Maybe an area chart. So now we've created our layout and then we can simply map it to the target. And now it's been applied to the dashboard template that we just created. And all these objects contain uh, dummy data. So we can uh, very easily replace them with our own uh, expressions. Of course, there's no data in this data model, but you get the idea, hopefully. So let's close this for now. And let's have a look at how this works for an existing document. So if you've worked with ClickView for any amount of time, you are probably familiar with the movies database. So let's have a look at how we can restyle that. Well, I need to add name to the file. And let's open the movies database again. The menu works on the basis of sheet IDs. So if I add a sheet, I can give the various uh, levels within the menu so this is the main and then it's uh, tab one and let's add another sheet and we'll call that tab two and let's well, let's move this one over here and we'll call that tab three so only sheets that have uh, this particular uh, naming convention are uh, styled. The rest are not styled. Let's move this a little bit down because there'll be a menu bar there. Save it and we'll pick another template for this. We'll take the master summit one. We'll load the preset. <clears throat> this takes a little while because a lot of cleanup going on uh, behind the scenes. But of course, when you're working at a particular, uh, within a particular project or a particular uh, client, you don't really have to load different template presets all too often.
almost finished. There it is, and now we can create the navigation. So we have our movies database file and click create navigation. And the first thing it'll tell us is that there are hidden sheets and objects in this uh, document. Um, and as we're only applying the style to these three sheets, we don't care about that. So we can just continue. That's loading the color scheme. And as you can see, we now have the new tabs. And the old uh, uh, dashboard is still here. It's not completely lined out OK. But we can either apply a, a grid to it or and, and remove uh, or move the objects that way. Or we can, again, let me save this use the object mapper so let's get the sheet list for the movies database and we'll say on this sheet i want to use i want to load something from the target document the objects we're going to get the object list and actually in the movies database there are a few hidden sheets and a few hidden objects. So we'll skip this for now and first show all uh, sheets and objects, just to show you that with the tab row. So there's a few hidden sheets there. Hide the tab row again. Save it, go back. And let's get the object list. So this is going through the uh, movies database, getting all the objects in there. And we should see it in our list within TurboClick. Don't forget to deactivate. So let's save this and close it. And we can see here that we have many different objects from uh, the uh, movies database. So let's open another template or layout preset. This one has some room for uh, list boxes. There it is. Find the list box. So we'll take uh, actor. We'll move that uh, here. And we'll take um, the director. Move that there. And where was title? Also interesting. And the template we're using has a current selections box in it already, but let's just add one as well. Where is it? CS, add it at the top. Let's have a look at some of the charts. So add this chart here. Add that chart there, and maybe add some things from the object library as well, just so you can see that we can mix and match from both. Okay, we've made our layout. We can map it again. And there you have it. You can see that the objects from the object library are also consistent with the coloring that we have in our theme. 
and you can make the selections current selections show up at the bottom you can click here open them remove them and that's it that's how we can quickly restyle a document So that was a little demo of uh, the TurboClick tool that we use uh, at our company. And that is bitmetric.nl. If you're looking for expert click, view, or click sense consultancy, give us a ring. Uh, you can also visit us at uh, clickfix.com. That's our blog where we have all sorts of tips, tricks, and tutorials for click, view, and click sense. And I'm also a part of the Master Summit for Click training, where we will have an upcoming event in Munich in April. So have a look if you're interested in some advanced click training. Thank you for watching and see you next time.